Hi, I'm Tasman Monopoly, cosmetic chemist and trainee here at the Institute of Personal Care Science. And today I'm going to show you how to make a sustainable emulsion formula. Now let's get into it. So what is sustainability? Sustainability means taking into account the social, environmental and economic aspects throughout the whole production chain of a product to ensure an altogether positive impact. So this begins from the starting source of a material all the way to the finished completed product on the shelf. Now, sustainability doesn't necessarily mean low carbon footprint. This is because of some of the heat and processing steps involved that use a substantial amount of water, therefore producing large carbon footprints without even recognizing it. If you would like to learn more, please refer to Belinda's other video on sustainable and carbon neutral beauty. The link is below. Now, what do we need to consider when making a sustainable emulsion? Consider using natural or vegetable origin materials, especially when the starting source is plant-based because it's totally renewable. Consider using green or natural materials, even if they go through esterification, which is a naturally derived processing method, because this is actually accepted as natural. Preservatives, natural versus nature identical. The problem is with nature identical is that they may not be totally renewable. So this is something really important to consider when choosing your preservative. Going waterless or reducing your total water input completely. Belinda has a really helpful video on water alternatives or suitable replacements. The link is below. Using upcycled ingredients. What are upcycled ingredients? They are a bypass product of making other raw materials. Using biodegradable materials or N or packaging using recyclable and or refillable packaging, use cold process to reduce the energy usage in production as well as CO2 and water, use multifunctional ingredients to minimize the amount of materials used in your formula, consider RSPO materials to reduce your impact on the orangutan species, and also consider how raw materials are made to reduce your carbon footprint. Now, let's look at how to put a sustainable emulsion formula together. I am going to be providing a basic full formula and method with this video. So if you would like a copy and access to all our other free formulas, please email us below. Now, first and foremost is our water continuous phase. So we can either use less water or use a completely different alternative to begin with. If you watch Blinda's previous video on water alternatives and replacements, she does mention a couple of really good replacements. One of them is hydrosols. Now I've chosen a hydrosol for many reasons. Number one, there are so many available. Number two is that they're quite cost effective and very easily to get your hands on. And number three is they're actually a bypass product of making essential oil. So they're actually considered an upcycled ingredient. So very sustainable. Next is my humectant and I've chosen the Zamia propane dial. This has some really good environmental sustainability benefits such as significantly lower greenhouse gas emissions, and lower energy consumption during its production. Now next is my oil phase. Now referring back to what to consider in this video, I did point out that it's a good idea to consider using a multifunctional ingredient. And this is what I have done. So I have chosen to use a polymeric emulsifier here for a few reasons. Number one, that it's a multifunctional ingredient. It acts as a realogy modifier and also an emulsifier. So we are minimalizing the amount of raw materials we're using in our formula. I have chosen Sepi Life Nude as my polymeric emulsifier. This is because it is sustainable, plant-based and renewable. It's also cold processable, so it's gonna really reduce our energy usage during production. It's also peg and mineral oil free high natural origin content, and inherently biodegradable, non-microplastic, and it's also RSPO and MB certified. Next is my emollients or lipids. Firstly, I've chosen Miratil 318. This is a naturally derived material and it's also RSPO certified. Next, I have chosen a natural plant oil. I've chosen avocado oil, but of course you can choose any other plant-based or vegetable origin lipid because if their starting source is plant-based, remember it's renewable. Next is my preservative. I've chosen the Cosphoderm Multi-Meg by Cosphotech. This is a natural, naturally derived preservative. It's also EcoCert approved and RSPO and MB certified. Now, because I'm using natural plant oils in my formula, of course we have to add an antioxidant. So I've just gone with tocopherol. This is naturally derived. You can also use up to 0.5% of an essential oil. Essential oils are plant-based, so again, they are totally renewable. And last but not least is our actives and extracts. 
Now we do recommend using up to 5% of actives and extracts. So this 5% can be all extracts or all actives, or we do highly recommend using a combination of both for that 5%. This is because a lot of people tend to overuse actives or extracts. So using a good balance of both is gonna give you great results. So my chosen active is Sikamaze by Bioli. So Sikamaze is 100% natural origin. It's Cosmos approved. This is actually an upcycled ingredient. It's a fine powder after calibration and seething of corn cob exfoliants. So again, this is a really good sustainable material to use. And last but not least, don't forget to check adjust your pH. And there you go. That's how easy it is to put together a sustainable emulsion formula. There are so many materials out there available now that are sustainable, eco-friendly, low carbon footprint, natural, naturally derived RSPO certified. The possibilities are endless. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave any questions in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to receive notification on all our videos. Happy formulating.